In this unit we're going to take a look at the use of the mirror tools. So it's going to show you where they, they can be found first. So have a look on your ribbon interface and right at the end there we've got the modify menu and on the modify panel at the top there near the middle we've actually got two mirror tools mirror pick axis and mirror draw axis going to show you how both of those work in this unit I'm going to start off with the one on the left the mirror pick axis so in my very simple model just got a couple of walls got a window in there and I've got a desk that's all we need just to run through the use of these two mirror tools so let's say we want to mirror this window about the center line of this cross wall here so we want a window roughly in this location that's symmetrical about the center line of the wall so first of all select our window use mirror pick axis now I'm using that one because I already have an axis I want to mirror about ie the center line of the wall so go ahead and choose that to get a little mirror icon next to the cursor I now need to just hover over my model and let Revit find the axis I'm interested in now you can see it's it's finding there the center line of the wall because that's a strong reference it's an obvious one Revit's finding that easily if for example you wanted to use another reference let's say the inner uh, face of the plasterboard there you may have to use your tab key on your keyboard to cycle through or to force Revit to find those other references so you can see if I carefully move my cursor over towards that plasterboard it's not initially finding that face as a reference however if I leave my cursor hovering over it and press the tab key just tap it once hopefully you can see on screen there that the, the, the face of that plasterboard is now highlighted in blue so I could use that as the axis I'm actually going to go back and use the center line as we initially talked about so single click on there and the window unit has been mirrored around that center line so we've just seen how we can use a reference within an existing element in Revit ie in the previous example the center line of that wall to act as a mirror plane to mirror our objects about but there will be times when you need to just draw or define your own mirror plane or your mirror axis hence the other version of the tool here which is where we draw the axis so let's do that with this freestanding desk so select our element select mirror draw axis and just two clicks now will define our mirror line so click there and the click there and that acted as a mirror plane and there is our mirrored object now that mirror axis or mirror plane that, that you define doesn't have to be vertical or horizontal it can be any angle you want so let's mirror that desk again select the element draw axis just going to pick an arbitrary angle and as you may expect the desk is now mirrored down in that position there. Earlier in the course, we talked at great length about hosted components. Uh, we've got an example here with these windows. So these window families are hosted by the walls. They can't exist in free space. Windows can only exist in a model when there is a wall in which to host them. I mention that now because in the context of the mirror command when you're mirroring components if you're mirroring a hosted component just make sure that there is a host in the position where the mirrored element is going to end up in order to receive that, that element that newly created object so for example if I was to mirror or try and mirror this window about the end of that wall that would result in the object being mirrored roughly in this position but 
as it stands at the moment there is no host or no wall there to receive that object so we get an error message so I'm just going to do that now I'll try and do it just to show you so mirror pick the end of the wall as the axis and we get this message here can't place inserts outside of host these elements won't be copied so just a minor detail but quite an important one um, obviously for these non-hosted freestanding elements such as the desks here pieces of furniture for example trees um, anything like that which don't rely on a host you're free to mirror them in any orientation you need uh, but with hosted elements just make sure there is a host there to receive them after the mirroring operation is complete there are a number of elements in Revit which are automatically numbered or named on their creation um, when we looked at doors and windows we saw how that worked so in my simple model here I've got a couple of walls and one window if I select the window family got their parameter called mark which is basically the number and Revit has automatically numbered this as number one it's the first window I've put into this particular model when we use the mirror command and make a new instance of that window it will actually be given a new number a unique identifier uh, sometimes people expect with the mirror command that it's going to make another copy and also call that window number one it doesn't it's copying the same type of family but it's giving it its own unique number and it'll give it the next one in the sequence so we can see how that works now so select the window pick axis I'm going to use the center line of the wall again now we didn't copy the or mirror the window tag I'll cover tags later on in the course when we get on to annotation and detailing but we can still see the effect of that if I select that new window you'll notice that mark is set at number two so it's the same family it's the same type but it is a unique window in its own right as can be seen by its own unique window number and that completes this unit to get the most out of this training material, please take the complete course online at bimscape.com. Here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace. Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point, you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.